Welcome everybody. Happy Friday. Yay. Uh, week three for us here at uh, Excellence HQ, we should call it. So week three of the live broadcast experiment. Can you believe that? So 5, 10, 15 days, 15 episodes, feeling good. Uh, it's had a lot of traction and the most important thing, learnt a lot about the art of broadcasting and the very topic that we're going to speak about today, the heart of your art, of your social media uh, content and creation. So thank you, just as we wait for people to roll in, thank you for the heart love. Lisa, welcome Lisa from Cafeteria, check her out, Instagram, Cafeteria, Bayside Business, uh, awesome uh, Bayside Cafe in Melbourne, welcome. Hello to Periscope and hello uh, to uh, Facebook community. Everybody's very welcome. Now next week is the last week of the experiment where we need to make some decisions. Desi K needs to think about how can this now, how can, you know, we've learnt a lot. I will share everything of course uh, of what I, I've learnt in how to traverse the land of live broadcasting and also how to um, how to make sense of it in uh, my own strategy moving forward but I've certainly seen a lot of benefits and uh, that I know I will pass on and advocate the importance for you as businesses and brands to give it a go uh, as well now next week though is the final week but I'm off on the jet plane woohoo so I'm very, very excited to be working with the team at Tourism Tribe. Again, this, I think this is the fourth, no, maybe the third, the third time I'm heading over to central Queensland to um, mentor, so be a digital mentor to about 20 tourism operators in the Sapphire and Gemfield region, Rockhampton, Southern Great Keppel Island. It will be awesome. I will share all of them and everything with you. So I think though, how it would best work for the live broadcasting, I might switch it and do the live broadcasting of an evening. So Australian Eastern Standard Time, but I think I will have done all my mammoth big days of seeing uh, businesses one on one during the day and I think I'll probably stick to around the nine o'clock mark of an evening but again with live broadcasting the challenge will be where there is uh, where there is connectivity so I know in some regional and remote areas they might have a challenge there but all I can promise you is I will give it my all and I will do my best to share with you what we've what I'm finding for businesses uh, up north in sunny Queensland. Beautiful one day, perfect the next. And I, I can't wait. I feel like I'm going home to visit family. I just love the businesses that I've been seeing over the last few years. So that will happen next week. So the 10 o'clock will be shifted because I'll be busily pounding the pavement and hitting the road. And then I, then we will be, yeah, well, I'll check in with you later on that evening. So let's get into the content for today. For those of you, let me put on my music. Are you ready? I've got now my stat. I use this music. If you haven't downloaded, I've got a podcast called Tourism Hub and I found the most awesome music for the podcast and Facebook didn't like my music, DJ Desi. You know, I loved putting on different songs every morning of the broadcast that uh, it didn't quite fly, so I nearly got ousted. Yeah, I nearly, I nearly got really, you know, punished by Facebook. So now I've just, I'll go with the theme that I love, and guess what it's called? This theme. Are you ready? It's called energy. Woo! There we go. Here we are. Oh no, no, no! We're not allowed to do that. Oh no! I think I've lost it. Oh, this is, see? We're live. We're live. I've lost it. I'll have to find it. I'll have to go catch it. Because <laughs> my song I was so happy to share um, is gone. But never mind. Look, I'm going to find it now. It doesn't matter. We can all hang in there. I've got really good stuff. It'll be worth the wait. I promise. Come on, energy. We need energy. 
and I'll do a really cool intro energy's gone guys energy no not eight here we go ready ready oh the anticipation yes Nico new 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 Desi song this is mine this is mine not anyone else's there's no copyright infringement ready ready hi I'm Despina Karatius and this is the Desi TV the Discovery Channel to your excellence and your excellence and your excellence woo wait for the kick in relax do you love that okay I'm not sure I can't see your faces you think she's gone mad or um, anyway that's new energy that's awesome thank you Lisa so this is called energy that will be the nice little theme song which I use for my tourism podcast anyway tourism hub so we'll I'll um I'll use that for these little uh, Desi TV episodes as well so today we are talking about the art of social media the art the heart the very first book now Guy Kawasaki I met him over at social media marketing world which is happening next week I think it's over in San Diego and I met and have my own signed copy the art of social media so there you go everybody the art of social media from by Guy Kawasaki and Peg, Peg Fitzpatrick amazing social media marketers and look proof and I've got the I have to plug out the pluck out the photo look at Guy Kawasaki's message to Desi and to all of you Desi change the world Guy third uh, 27th of March uh, 2015 how cool is that Desi change the world and I've got an awesome um, little autograph from Peg as well so I thought going on last night I presented an information evening for the diploma professional diploma of digital marketing and I was sharing with the wonderful people that showed up um, last night that I can't teach show social media anymore unless we look at the big picture of a digital marketing strategy and a concept and aligning our social media outcomes to something that will reflect a business outcome and a business objective so I will harp on that uh, every day if I have to because that's something I've certainly appreciated and learned on my own journey as well that to be social and do social we've got to really align it to two really key critical components of that and that's a digital marketing strategy and the other one who can guess what the other one is if I can bring you in what could you guess so digital marketing strategy and there's one more element that we need to align our social media activity our heart our art of what we're creating okay the other thing is a content marketing strategy so we want to have these two really solid uh, and you know we want them to have them solid and in place for our social media strategy to really create opportunities for our businesses so the key question and I got it last night probably around three times after after everybody when we were finished and having a chat to some you know there were entrepreneurs starting businesses there were intrapreneurs that are working for organizations like I had a chef how awesome is this he was a chef and working for a large catering company here in Melbourne but saying I just see that we could do so much more so he's this chef coming in the room and saying I just want to learn so I want to learn about this stuff because I know we can do so much more for our business and our brand and the personality and what we represent and our culture and I just thought that was freaking awesome so and this is an extension of that it was like but I never know what to post and who can give me some little you know I never know what to post every day I could waste so much time in thinking about what to post and when I do post I create this is just 
fresh off last night. Um, one uh, wonderful participant said, sometimes I actually get a little bit anxious when I hit that post button as if I'm setting something off. And I can relate to that too, especially in the beginning. I would definitely procrastinate over what I would post and, you know, oh, is that, is that, is that wrong? Is that wrong? Is that going to be silly? What are they going to think? Uh, and the same thing for what we're doing here. This, you know, live broadcasting, has it been easy? No. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Uh, is it directly related to a business outcome though? 100% absolutely. Okay, so as long as it's related to an end game, there's a bigger picture and just working backwards from that. That's all, all we're doing here. So I've never known what to post. We're getting busier. We're wearing more hats or hashtags, I should say. Our days do not have to feel like they're getting shorter and shorter because everything is manageable. You just think of the most successful people in the world and what they have on their plates and if they can... Uh, they can go out and put their dint and change their world and do their thing. There's nothing to stop you from doing the same. So in small business, especially when it has to be you, it has to be you, Harry Connick Jr., it has to be you because we're limited in resources and we're limited in resources in funding and also in support with people. So the Art of social media or the heart of social media, I should say, I love it when businesses come to me and say, I do all the social media. Great. That's fantastic because you're the heartbeat of this business and it's actually no, no agency or third party um, can translate that for you better than you. So it's great to empower ourselves with educations and tools and tips and, th you know, and, and things like books. This was my first social media book that I got my hands on and certainly and I can pick it up anytime and get some little insight that I can implement. Still relevant two years later, especially in the very changing world of social. So the art of social media at the end of the day in my mind is feeding the content monster okay so feeding the content monster it's all about producing original or repurposed or shareable content because at the end of the day we're all in the business of education in our with our brands so i you know i heard a term and i think i shared it on one of the episodes edu marketing so we're all we are all in the business of adding value it's not content that sells it's content that inspires it's content that adds value it's content that connects to a, to the core of why you do what you do so if we need to build those relationships for our future client to know, like, and trust us. We need to get to work in, ter in, in working our art of social media. So now I will like to share with you three tips to get to the heart of your art. So three tips to get to the heart of your art. When I hear I don't know where to post, there's only one, there's one key thing that I know is not happening and that's the number one thing I will share with you today and that is making a plan. So if we don't know what to post, it only means that we haven't really taken the time to have a plan, a strategy and with that plan comes things like number one, what will be my key call to action here? How do I make money? And what do I want the transaction to be with my repeat business, my repeat clients, or my future clients? At the end of the day, we're here, we're talking business. So we have to be very clear on how we are making those transactions. Is it booking, you know, whatever it might be, whether it's booking accommodation, whether it's booking a table at a cafe, whether it's selling tickets to something, whether it's buying physical, uh, tangible products. What is it that we sell? We have to be very clear on what that is first when we're making our plans. Second thing is who are we? Who do we want to attract? And who are we selling this to? Who are our people? Who is our community? What do they look like? Where do they hang out? What keeps them up at night? We have to really think about them. And the third point to that in making our plan, 
we then go step into their shoes, take our hat off, put their hat on and think, what do they want? What do they want to hear? What do they want to have served up to them when they're scrolling and catching up on their social media feed of the day? So this is something that's very uh, important as a step one of creating your art at the heart. Creating at the heart of your art, I like that. At the heart of your art is having a plan and aligning that to a key outcome for your business. Number two, and this is a really lovely extension of creating a plan, is having a calendar. We've got Outlook, your Google, you've got a, a whole plethora. I love to use tools. I've got, I initially was using Evernote, but I love to use a co tool called Trello when I am planning out my content, even planning out these episodes. I definitely don't hit live and have this all ready it, it, you know, I do a really good solid probably an hour's worth of planning involved in what it is because I don't want to just come here and waste your time so this is something that with a calendar and when I know what's coming up uh, in the week or days ahead it just makes it all to be fun and I'm really having a lot of fun with this and the only reason it's not stressful and I'm having fun is because I'm taking the time to plan and I'm taking the time to schedule out the content to not only have the content ready but also have uh, for example some graphics associated with the content so uh, I've been finding and this is a little tip even with the live broadcast I have a lot more engagement of people showing up when I let them know what it is that we're going to talk about and I've had days where I just haven't just it has gotten away with me we're all human and I haven't put a, some type of a graphic together and it's a lower engagement so it's something I've learned something to share but make a plan use a calendar whether you love to use like I've got a big wall planner behind me here uh, and I love to use that just to know where I'm at have I got a live training of it uh, not only when it is but even planning the content of the training uh, whether it's an online training and so forth but in terms of making a plan and my content the heart of my art it's definitely scheduled out in an electronic calendar and I use Trello. Check it out. It's What's great about Trello is that I have it available on all of my devices. So if I have an inspired idea even in the middle of the night for a blog post or for a topic, I can, I can have access to that calendar and that scheduled content that I have. Is that useful? I'm not sure. Uh, I hope it is. I hope it is because it certainly made a difference in my life, really. It really has. Uh, no more by the by, you know, if the stars and moons, moons are aligned. Number three and something I always like to reiterate is that it doesn't always have to be you. So the, when it comes to the art of your social media and what you're sharing, it can be overwhelming, especially if you're just starting out. But you have to understand and appreciate EB copywriting. Welcome, Bay Fish and Trips. Welcome. So she's given me a big she or he. I think it's she, she's given me a big thumbs up, saying it doesn't always have to be you. It doesn't always have to be you to create the content, to write the content. EB copywriting. I love it. Instagram says exactly what they do. So if you do if you have a lot of ideas but are struggling for time speak to someone and outsource your content in the same way if you do find valuable content that you know is also going to serve and add value and extend your own message to your audience share it so it doesn't always have to be you to create it and it doesn't always have to be you that it comes from your website or your original content. If you see someone else that is really, that, that's hit a high note and think that we also have to think, oh, my audience will love that and share the love. So give us gain. Also be able to share other people's content. Okay, so to summarize, it doesn't always have to be you. 
uh, it, it, have a plan. So if you're struggling to know what to post, when to post, uh, have a plan. Look at your insights. Check your metrics. When are your people hanging out? And uh, and take it from there. So set the scene, have the vision, have the plan, and then work backwards from that. If it doesn't get scheduled, it's not real. And speaking of scheduling, use your calendar. Make it real. I, I have been holding off on running my own event, a live event where I can have people come and I, I'm not kind of, at the moment, a lot of what I do, it, it is for a client for, and it is for someone else. So I haven't quite gotten around to doing my own event and this is something now, my first, very first step in doing that is setting the date and scheduling, scheduling it in, in the calendar because that's what's making it real. It's been sitting in my head for, it feels like, years. Uh, but it hasn't really, the first time that this seems I'm getting closer to taking the courage to doing this is when I've put it in the calendar. So we all have these available to us at our fingertips. And it share what's hot and outsource, because even if it's not you, uh, I shared this with Bay Fish and, Troop, uh, Fish and Troops the other day. 80% uh, of something is better than 100% of nothing. So if it, look around. There are plenty of resources. And I have my friend EB Copywriting that's uh, joined us on Instagram to check out if you're interested in exploring that. Because creating the art of social media and the art of your why and a lot of things we've talked about about your purpose and the bigger person's purpose and your story and your journey and what makes your business unique the ultimate unique selling proposition in marketing lingo is you 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 that's it there's no one else like you so whether you're even the organization that you work for it's it it's doing well because it has all the people within it that are bringing their skills and their passions and their ideas to the party in the same way as your business. So wherever wherever you, you sit. Was this valuable? Because that's the wrap for the art of social media, the heart of your art. Please promise me, there goes Guy Kawasaki, I've just dropped him. Um, please promise me, do something today. Just do something new, inspired, and, and share it. Tag me. I will shout it from the rooftops. Desi Karatius on Instagram and Twitter, and Despina Karatius, you can find me on Facebook. Create something new at the heart of your art on social. I hope you found this valuable. Hope you're inspired to act, more importantly, and set your strategies in place. So let's see if this is going to work. Here we go. It's the signing off music. Okay, wonderful people, have a fabulous day and here is to your excellence and your excellence and your excellence today and every day. Okay, I will see you Monday. It won't be in the morning, but it will be at some stage. Thank you, EB Copywriting. It will be some stage in the evening, Australian Eastern Standard Time while I'm over in uh, sunny Queensland, central Queensland. Okay, thank you Lisa, thank you Bay Fish and Troops and thank you EB Copywriting. Till next time, bye. Thanks guys for joining and thank you to all of you. Thank you Nico, thank you for joining me. Whether you've come on live or watching the replay, I appreciate you and your time. Okay, until next week, have a wonderful, wonderful day.